What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. Let's take a look at Devin White and his performance against the Saints. He's been bowling out the past two games, sacks, tackles, everything you can ask for for a middle linebacker, especially in this Buccaneer defense. But let's initially look at him, middle of your defense. The pressure he gets on the quarterback, he already has three sacks in the season. But look at that click and close. You usually hear that with a cornerback, but check him out as a linebacker, putting his foot in the ground and getting after it. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, they're doing a great job of utilizing him kind of like a QB spy kind of in the middle of the field where he has the option whether either picking up the running back or just going in and getting after the quarterback like you see here. So it's kind of like a little delayed blitz and it's been working to perfection, uh, doing a great job of, you know, getting the, the finish and getting the sacks. But still look at the defense, though, here. Look at the pressure from Dean on the outside. Look at um, Devin White just pausing a little bit just to see if he's going to have an alleyway right there made by Mr. Vita Vea, Mr. Double Team, right? You got to double team this guy or he's going to pummel you. And look what happens. Wide open wall or wide open gaping hole just for him to attack. It's enough pressure where things are easy for him. And that's what we talked about during the offseason. He's going to have alleyways because of the tension Vita Vea will get and Akeem Hicks gets. But yeah, Hicks has an injury. Let's see how bad it is. Now, more his speed. Again, read and react immediately downhill. When he's a downhill player, he's a nasty player. Right, yeah, I couldn't agree more. They're, they're utilizing him to his strengths. Again, do a great job of shifting the defense, a corner blitz, and Devin comes and fills that gap. So it's just being smart, rotating to where he needs to be, and then, yeah, utilizing that speed to pick up the option. And you're all right. I mean, it's a defense playing in unison, right? So guys knowing where to be. Even Vita Vea and uh, Will Golston drop back. Usually people hate this. Why are these fat guys dropping back? Mm -hmm. If the defense knows where to be, gaps are filled. And this defense is just playing smart. A lot of people don't want the big guys going in. Todd Bowles doesn't. He's going to use everything to his advantage, and it's working. And here, just his sideline to sideline speed and getting through the trash. Check him out here. He's going to get confronted with an offensive lineman, but he still works his way down to the sideline. Break it down, plus. Right, absolutely. It's a great job by the front. You know, Akeem Hicks forces this to the outside. Anthony Nelson does a great job. But, yes, it ends up being Devin White because, like you said, he's just so quick uh, to the sideline, does a great job of making sure the play is finished uh, for a minimal gain. And this is something you can't teach. He's just a freak athlete. And thank you for being a Buccaneer. This stuff, the deceptiveness of this defense, look at all the guys on the line. I mean, that's going to scare the crap out of everyone. and hopefully cause turnovers which it did in this game but plus break this down for me what the hell happened yeah it's a great job usually you see Devin White come in on this play but he does the fake and it lets and then Levante David his tag team partner does a great job of kind of faking this and then going in himself so yeah it's just this is what we mean by the defense work you see Joe Tryon Shane could drop back into the middle and then Devin White does a great job of dropping to his zone as well so, yeah, it's just showing how this defense can work. It's unfortunate this ended up in a flag at the end result, but still an excellent play by all parties involved. I agree. Again, the credit to the defense. They've been balling out. I mean, 13 points in two games, that's pretty damn good, to be, to be honest. And one of them, pick six, return for a touchdown. I like it. Now more Devin White being Devin White, the motor, the hustle, the speed, everything you want in a middle linebacker, especially in this defense that wants him to play downhill. Just check him out, just where he starts and where he finishes. Right, absolutely. And and this is what he can do best, it, you know, especially when he's able to get downhill. He has an alleyway and a great job by Joe Tryon to really force this back inside. And then Devin White comes up and cleans it. So, yeah, great job uh, just using his speed. That's what he's there for. And little things like that, like you mentioned, Joe Tryon forcing this in the inside playing team ball like just don't give up the outside because you have no help over there no one's over there like it's a clear path so yeah. he's forcing this guy inside and what do you know your speed of your defense the heart of it you're getting back down gotta love it gotta love it and now some of the bad i mean there's there's never always just a perfect game Devin white is human so the, what's going on here what gap did he miss here yeah, here you'd like to see, I mean, he it looks like he reads it correctly, but he gets trapped with the eye candy coming around the corner. He thinks it could be a qu quarterback pool or power, um, but you'd like to just see him come straight down the middle, take on 51 if he has to, and you kind of force Taysom Hill to make a decision after that, and it could be a less, you know, a lesser gain for sure. 
Yeah, because he's literally the center of attention. I think he's thinking there's someone else that's going to be behind him. There's no mm-hmm. one behind him. There's nothing but alleyway for Taysom Hill here. And then Logan Ryan and Antoine Winfield make a good tackle here. But that's another credit. They're just cleaning up a lot. Logan Ryan, Antoine Winfield, if there's big runs, they immediately shut it down at the back end. And now here he's just missing. He got the right gap, flew in that gap correctly. Just got to wrap up and make that tackle. What do you see? Yeah, absolutely. That That's what it is. And, you know, the best thing is, like, he's in a position to make a ton of plays. And for the most part, he's making about, I would say, 80 to 90% of those plays. It's just the 10% that you want to see him clean up. And, you know, the sky's the limit for him. And he's all well on his way to being a candidate for Defensive Player of the Year, which is crazy. But he's doing it. Um, so, guys, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the like button. Uh, comment down below what you think of Devin White. And with that said, until the next one.